Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful blanket. So this is what the back looks like. It looks like this on the back and this is the front. Get it round the right way, Alice. You need four stitches for your pattern. Your stitch count is four plus an extra two. And then I done three rows of UK double crochet all around the border. I did two, three times around the corner. So I put two, then two, then two into the stitches to make my corners. So if you're in the USA, this is a single crochet. I did three rows around to do the border on this blanket. So I'm going to show you how to do this blanket. And I'm going to show you how to do that arrow stitch blanket that I did. Now, your stitch count is four. But if you know me by now, I don't do a stitch count. I just do my chain. If I need any stitches, I use this tail end just to add a few stitches on if I'm a few stitches short. If I've got too, too many stitches, I'll just pick them out. So I'm going to do my chain. If you want to know the stitch count, it's a count of four stitches per section of that pattern. So I'm just going to do my chain. I'm going to go on to the fourth stitch in my chain and I'm going to do a UK treble crochet. So into that fourth stitch, I'm going to do a treble crochet. So that chain that we missed, the one, these stitches, these stitches that we didn't use, and this becomes our two treble crochets. What you're going to do now is you're going to skip three stitches. So that one's got my stitch in it. One, two, three. Now into this fourth stitch, we're going to put a UK double treble crochet. That's your yarn around your hook twice like this if you're in the usa or another country this is a treble crochet for you now i use both terms because people all over the world watch my channel and it's only fair if i say both the stitch terms so into this fourth stitch i'm going to do my double treble crochet so yarn over and through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to work back on these three stitches that we skipped. We're going to do a UK treble crochet into these three stitches. If you're in the USA or another country, this is a double crochet. So yarn over and you're going to go behind that long stitch and you're going to go into that first stitch you skipped. It might be easier just to tip it forward like this, but make sure that long stitch is facing the front of you. So we're going to do a treble crochet. We're going to treble crochet into the next skipped stitch. That's two. And a treble crochet into that last skip stitch. So just put your hook through into that skip stitch. And this is called working back your skip stitch. It's called working back. So what it's done is put that first part of, of our arrow to the front of your work. Now all the ones with these long stitches will always be on the front. You won't have any long stitches on the back of your work at all. So find the stitch that you put that into so you don't count it. So it's in that stitch there. So what you're going to do is you're going to skip three stitches, one, two, and three. And you're going to put another double treble into that fourth stitch. 
And if you're in the USA, this is a treble crochet. So yarn over and through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. Now we're going to work the three stitches we skipped again. We're going to copy this part and put a treble crochet into those three stitches. So you're going to go behind that long stitch and then into that first stitch you missed. This first row is the fiddliest one. Once you've got this done, it will become a lot easier. You'll be able to get to these stitches easier. So we're going to put a treble crochet into that first missed stitch. There's my second stitch right there beside it. And my third stitch is at the bottom of this long stitch here. That's my third one. So again, you're going to miss four, miss three stitches. And don't count the one that this stitch is in. Make sure you don't count that one. That's got that stitch in it. So we're going to skip three. One, two, three. And do our double crochet. Yarn over twice so it looks like you've got three loops on your hook. Into that fourth stitch, pull your yarn through. It looks as if you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. And that's you done your long double treble crochet. So we're going back, so behind there and into the stitch. It might be better just for you to tip it forward like this. Just make sure that long stitch is on the front. So that's one in there and then two and three. So you're going to skip three, one, two and three and do a double treble into the fourth stitch. And then work back and put a stitch into your three skip stitches, one into each stitch. That's one. And two. And three into that bottom one there that we skipped. Yarn over twice, just turn your chain, skip one, two, three, and you're going to do that all the way along your chain. And then into that skipped stitch, my first treble crochet, into the next skipped stitch, that's my second one, and into that third stitch. Now don't worry if your chain sort of twists itself around. Don't worry about that. Yarn over twice, skip three, one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch all the way along your chain. So I've got to the end and because I didn't count my stitches, I got two stitches left. I need three to make my pattern and two extra to do my two trebles on the end of my blanket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hook through that last stitch and I'm going to make myself three stitches. I need three. So that's one, two, and three. Now I'm just going to pull my hook, my, my tail end through. So this is what I do. When I'm at home, I don't do a stitch count. I just use the tail end to complete my pattern sequence. 
So I need to skip three. So that's one, two and three. So into this next stitch, I'm going to put my double treble crochet. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through two loops. And through two loops. And I'm going to work back and put a treble crochet into my three skipped stitches. So that's one and two, the second one into that next stitch and three into that stitch there. Now it'll get a little bit easier. Now we've got that first row done, it will get easier. It does look like a little tangle, but once we get a few rows done, it will be fine. So my last two stitches, I'm going to put a treble crochet into each of these stitches. That's one and two. So we'll always finish with two treble crochets. And at the beginning, we'll have our chain three and a treble crochet. So now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. That's your first treble crochet. Turn your work and do a treble crochet into this next stitch. One treble crochet. Now we're going to start our pattern again. Now it becomes easier. You can see your three stitches that you're going to skip. One, two, three. You're going to do your double treble into this hole. You've got a larger hole here and a smaller one. We're going into the smaller one. Now you'll see the sections. These are the holes that you're going to put your double trebles in. These ones here. And that's your three skip stitches. So now your pattern becomes very easy. So yarn over twice. You're going to skip those three stitches and go into the stitch above this hole, into there, and do your double treble crochet. Now this is the back of your work. You should never have any of these long stitches on the back. That's going to get pushed around to the front. So just push that one out of the way. Push this one out of the way, and you're going to work into these three stitches. So yarn over, just find your own way to hold it and go in to that stitch and do your treble crochet. Into the next skipped stitch. Just make sure that long stitch stays to the back there. And into my third skipped stitch. Just feed your hook through that skipped stitch. So that's you done your three skipped stitches. And you've got your first part of your arrow stitch. Yarn over twice and go into that space, that hole there. And do your long stitch. Now we're going to work into these three skip stitches again. One, two and three. So yarn over and feed your hook through. So you're keeping that long stitch to the back. And work those three skipped stitches. That's one. That's your second one. And that's your third one. Just loop it up. Just catch that stitch. And this is what it's looking like. You've got your arrows are on this side here. I'll try and tilt it so you can see. You're going to continue doing this. This is what you're going to do. Make sure when you're on the back of your blanket that you make sure that long stitch stays on the front of your blanket. So yarn over and do one treble crochet into each skipped stitch. 
you've got three skipped stitches there. That's two. And that one is three. This makes a beautiful, cosy blanket. And the thicker you yarn, the quicker this is. And once you get that first set done, then the rest of it is really easy. So skip those three stitches and work into that stitch above that hole. Into there. Do your long stitch and then work back and put a treble crochet into that stitch. You can just fold that over if you want. Just bend it over. That's one. And two. Just push that long stitch out of the way. Push it down there, out of the way. And do your third one. Yarn over twice. You're going to skip those three stitches. Stick, just skip there and go into that sort of biggish hole. One, two, three. Then you're going to work your three stitches that you skipped. Just push that down out of the way. Just push it down there. And don't catch it. Make sure that you're not catching that long stitch. Two and work my third skipped stitch right through there. Yarn over twice through that top hole. Yarn over and work my skipped stitches. One treble crochet. two treble crochet and my third one. Yarn over twice and I'm going to do my last long stitch. So make sure it's your three skip stitches that you're using. You're not going into that big hole again. Make sure it's your three skipped stitches. That's one. That's two. And into that one there. Make sure I'll get all my stitch. So I'm at the end again and I'm just going to boot, I'm going to do my two treble crochets, one into that stitch and one into the top of that chain of three. Push your hook through, pull your stitch through, finish your treble crochet, chain three, one, two, three and turn. So all your arrow stitches should be on the front and this is what it looks like. So we're going to do a treble crochet into the top of this stitch. And we're back to using this loop. You can see the loop at the end of that arrow and there's my loop. That's the one where you're putting your long stitch into and that's your three skipped stitches. So twice around your hook, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. Keep your long stitch to the front. These always stay on the front. So this time you're going into the back and it's a little easier because you can see what you're doing now. As this blanket grows, it becomes much easier to get your missed stitches. So yarn over twice, skip these three stitches and you're going to do work back, work back into those ones and that is your pattern repeat. 
So all your long arrow stitches will be on the front of your blanket. And there won't be any on the back at all. Uh -uh, no long stitches. They're all here on the front like this. So I'm on the last two stitches and it's a treble crochet into the top of that one. And a treble crochet into the top of my chain of three. And this is what we're getting. We're getting this. You can see those, that arrow stitch showing up like this. <laughs> it's really pretty. And that's the back of it. So you make sure you've got no lines on the back. They should be on the front. These loops should be on the front like this. And this is what makes that arrow stitch. So chain three, one, two, three, and turn. One treble crochet into the top of your next stitch. This keeps your edge nice and straight. There's your three stitches that you're missing, and that's the stitch you're going to put your double treble crochet in. If you're in another country, this is a treble crochet. So now make sure that stays there because it belongs on that side. And work your three stitches. One treble crochet. One into the next stitch. And one into that last stitch. Just push that long stitch to the front. Yarn over twice into that big stitch. And then make sure you do your three stitches that you make. Just go back and work those three stitches that you missed. And that is all you do with this. Just make sure that big stitch stays to that side. So that's what your back looks like. And this is what the front is. Your arrows are here on the front. So make sure all your arrows stay on the front. What your blanket will be like. You've got your arrows on the front. There's none on the back at all. There's no long stitches on the back. Now, once I finished my blanket, I did I did three rows of a UK double crochet. If you're in the USA, that's a single crochet. I just picked up the stitches. I put two in to each section along here. I'll show you on this. So when I did my edge, each section I put two stitches in, a UK double crochet, a USA single crochet. I put two into each of these sections and then I just picked one up and each stitch going all the way around the blanket like that. And this is beautiful. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please click on that subscribe button. And then if you click on that bell icon, then YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial for another blanket. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.